I've seen pictures of double-headed snakes, but is there a snake that orange and red? I'm gonna say real. Oh, if this is fake, I'm gonna be annoyed. We are doing a try not to fail, real versus fake. Ooh, I love these. If it's not a dog or a cat, I'm like, okay. Oh. I don't know, because I'd love it if it was real, but it's a little hard to believe. It just doesn't look real at all. I'd be very surprised if that's real. I could see someone animating that, but I really want it to be real. I mean, it looks like somebody's backyard or something, and it just doesn't seem, it doesn't read real to me. So I will say fake. I'm gonna say real. Yes, my answer is real because I want it to be real. If this is real, I'm gonna be very uncomfortable. But also, I'm gonna wanna go see it, like, 100%. I'm saying it's fake, though. I don't think it's real. So this, in fact, is real. Oh, yes. Okay, well, fooled me. Shut up. Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> Amazing. Look at that furry cute coat. It's so weird. It, just, it literally looks like a living teddy bear. If those don't look like monkey feet. It looks like a, an actual child but with fur on it. How is it possible we haven't heard about this adorable creature? I feel like I've heard that snake's gonna have two heads. The expression on the whole mouth face faces. <laughs> Area yeah, does not look real. I definitely know it's possible for this to happen. I've seen pictures of double-headed snakes, but is there a snake that orange and red? I'm gonna say real. Oh, if this is fake, I'm gonna be annoyed. Whether or not this particular one is real, I'm unsure. But I feel like it's real. It looks like a toy. It looks like those plastic snakes you scare people with. But I've heard that snakes can have two heads. So I say yes, it is real. I've heard of two-headed snakes. That, that does not look real though. I'm gonna say fake. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, thank God. That's so cool. So this is Medusa, an albino milk snake. Not only is it rare for being albino, but it was also born with two heads, making it even more rare. Medusa was hatched in Florida at Sunshine and Serpents. <laughs> of course it was in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Medusa currently resides in Venice Beach, California at Todd Ray's Freak Show. <gasps> I want to go see her. <laughs> I want to yeah. go see her. That's awesome. Any ideas how much Todd Ray paid for this rare snake? I'm going to say 15000 I feel like a lot of money. You just said it was albino and it has two heads. Like, at least a couple thousand, I feel. You'd have to pay me to be in the same room with a snake, so whatever he paid, it was too much. $400,000. Whoa, that's way over. <laughs> he paid $50,000. <gasps> I guess if it's 50,000, that means two-headed snakes are kind of common then. 25,000 per head, huh? <laughs> okay, this is a real this is a real thing. I have seen a photograph of this. See, I'm frustrated with myself because I've seen this image so many times on the internet. Well, it's got a ridiculous expression. And I never thought to just look it up. And I could have had the answer right now. Ugh, this is real, 100%. I know it already. It's called a blobfish. I, I gotta say fake. Doesn't he just look sad and gelatinous? I'm going with real. I think it's real. This creature was crowned the world's ugliest animal in 2015. That's so rude. A the ugliest. Still defense today. That's not nice. On land, Amazing. he's got a body. Very a illuminating. I can't believe that's real, frown. but okay. But Poor guy. He's 9,200 feet below sea level, and the water holds up all that flesh. Aw, he does look better down there. Making the fish <laughs> a little more handsome. Yes, Same he's a little fish, bit better looking. A little yes. more oh, poor guy, so judged when he's on the surface. He looks better down there. <laughs> Whoa! Is that a turtle? I know turtles can live a very long time, so I wouldn't be surprised if some turtles get like this huge. But this just looks too big. That's a leatherback tortoise, I do believe. Could there be that? Could there be one that big? Oh, this is really vexing me. I've heard of those giant tortoises. I'm definitely gonna say real. I'm gonna say it's real. I don't think that's real. Yes, I will say fake. And if you say real again, I'm gonna start screaming. No, I won't, I promise. <laughs> so this is a fake. It's a real oh. turtle photo oh, no. the beach in French Guiana by Laura and Patty from Can't fool me, Laura and Patty. But the fact that the turtle is much closer to the camera than the couple uh. is makes it look much bigger. <gasps> than it really Shut is. up. 
That is one scary looking creature. I feel like they like dragonfish or something like that. I feel like I've seen those. That one just looks particularly small. It's very tiny. I mean, that is a tiny little thing. It looks like a real fish. Kind of looks like a Pokemon because I've seen fish like that before. I would imagine that as soon as he drops it into the water, it would start swimming around. I'm saying real. I think if I keep staring at it, it's going to get clear. No, I'm going to say fake. I don't think that's a real animal. I definitely, I think this is real. I'm going to... Final answer. Buzz in, it's real. Final answer. Yeah, you're going to say it's fake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I knew it. Oh, <laughs> amazing. No way. Ha. Huh. Yeah, that's right. The blue sea dragon. I am so smart, sea actually. Sea I sea said it was like a dragon thing. Oh, that inhabits the open my ocean gosh. in tropical and it's subtropical so beautiful. areas. Wow. They spend their life floating upside down at the surface of the water, partially kept afloat by a. That's an awesome looking animal. Stomach. Yeah, so that that's called a blue glaucus, also known as the blue dragon, sea swallow, or blue angel. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Blue angel. If you saw one, would you try and pick it up? I, I, it looks like we could touch them, so I think I would. It's so odd. Something is just odd about it. That face looks too, like, bearish, and that body looks cowish. Looks like a combination of a water buffalo and a dog. I'm gonna say fake. I'm gonna say it's fake. I think it's fake. I think it's fake. This is a composite, so it's fake. And I feel very sure about that. Now let's see how, how wrong I am. <laughs> it is fake. Oh, thank God. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it is a composite. It's actually a yak and a red panda. I knew it. I knew it. I recognize the adorable little face of the red panda. Oh, <laughs> what is that? The snout area is so large. It's got like Squidward's nose. Uh, looks like a combination of a moose and a eland. Okay, I'm gonna say that this is a composite, therefore making it fake. I'm gonna say fake. I'm gonna say no, I think it's fake. I'm gonna say it's fake. It's a great edit if it's like a fake animal because it looks so real. The Saiga is an antelope that looks- I was, Oh, see, I was gonna say antelope, those horns. I knew it. The genus, and there are two subspecies. The Russian saiga. Do they both have the same nose? Is what I want to know. That nose is amazing. Russia, that snout. Kazakhstan, and Uzbekistan in the winter, while the Mongolian saiga, or saiga tatarica mongolica, is only found in well, you guessed it, Western Mongolia. Mongolia. That that's a cool animal I want to see. Well, I recognize I recognize part of it. Oh my God! Is that one of those murder? Hornets? I feel like I will believe any single picture that someone shows me of an insect. That has to be fake because it's like literally a combination of so many different bugs. Oh, it's probably some exotic creature from a little known area like that antelope. I don't want that to be real. This would terrify me if I saw this in person though. I don't care how small or big it is. I think this is real though. No, I'm gonna say fake. That's fake. No, I'm gonna say fake. This is real. Yes! No, are you serious? It's called a scorpion fly. The scorpion fly is a strange looking insect that is found in gardens and hedgerows. It lives up to its name by sporting a scorpion-like tail, which the male uses in courtship, so it doesn't sting you. Wow, that's pretty amazing and beautiful wings. Oh my God, it looked tiny, but it's still terrifying. I mean, it looks like it could be real. I can see like, the tail is a little, I don't know, like raccoon -y maybe. It looks like a raccoon with like a different face. Those are owl eyes, okay. Owl eyes, raccoon tail. So this isn't real then. Oh, it's an owl's face. This is fake. I love it. I don't know what that is, but I love it. That's not real. I'm gonna say marmoset. Final answer, real? No, I'm gonna say fake. So this, uh, this is called a raquel. It is fake. Okay. Raquel. Raquel as in raccoon owl. Oh. And it is completely photoshopped. Oh, that is funny. Oh, I see. So those are owl eyes. Mm -hmm. And it has a beak. Oh, I couldn't make out the beak. When it first popped up, I was like, I don't remember raccoons looking like this. But I was like, this is a raccoon. And then I realized. So why do people do this? You know what? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> 
How was the challenge? I loved it. It was fun. I really like made my brain hurt though. I really thought I would be so bad at this. Thanks for watching this episode. How did you do on this Try Not To Challenge? Subscribe and hit the bell for more Try Not To's. Thanks for watching. Bye.